the Joe Rogan experience. You said you uh, you lost a lot of weight. What did you do in terms of your diet? Uh, you know what? I was very consistent. I was able to eat, you know, and have a, a, a plan. Like, you know, I'd have breakfast, I'd have lunch, I'd have dinner. Whereas before, God, I was always on the road. So it's like I never wanted to eat before I went up on stage because then it would mess with, like, I'd right. get heartburn. And, and you, mm-hmm. you don't want to be burping or farting in, in front of a crowd. So I wait until the end. And then by the time the show's over, what's available to eat? You know, it's terrible like, food. Terrible. And so you're starving. Yes. So you can't wait so, to eat. Yeah. yeah, and then go to sleep, and then mm-hmm. it was just that cycle repeat. And I just, you know, over the years, man, it got good to me. Mm. So I gained all that weight. So being home for a year, um, you know, I was having an actual regular clean breakfast of, you know, not nothing crazy from the road. It was all food that was store-bought and preparing my own food. You can get, like, a meal prep company that will make meals for you that are, like, I've lower done those. Cal- Yeah, I've how, done those. And, how and, that work? Uh, I was into it for a couple of weeks, but then it's like, oh, man, I'm tired of fucking broccoli. <laughs> <laughs> tired of this shit <laughs> yeah uh, what helped out a lot too was that you know I was every day I was walking a lot and, mm. every, you know I was lifting weights three times a week oh that's great know? and then again going to see my doctors getting on certain plans like um, you know I wear a monitor now for my sugar mm-hmm. you know so I'm always I'm, I'm able to keep tabs on my sugar whereas before it was out of control you know I was I was averaging waking up at 400 which is like, you might What's as well go to the hospital. Normal, you want to be somewhere between eighty and one hundred and twenty, at least oh. for me. Ooh. And so, yeah, it was. I was. I was riding the the what they say the the check engine light on for too Jesus. long. That's scary. And so, uh, you know, and, and then I got high blood pressure, and of course, you know, you don't know it until they tell you, or until you, you know, check yourself. So then, getting on medication for that, getting on medication for diabetes, and you know. Now I'm sounding like Joe Hey, you got a cocksucker. You got to get the diabetes. You got to yeah. get this and that. But uh, getting my health in, in order with the doctor and with the food and with the working out, whereas I wasn't able to do that on the road. Mm-hmm. Or I would make a lot more excuses because I didn't, you know. Well, also, you, you want to have energy for those shows. And sometimes when you work out really hard, oh, it's over. you're so tired. And when you're really tired, it's hard to, like, fire back up to get ready for the shows, yeah. especially if it's a new thing you're doing. You know, if your body's adapted to it, you can do it pretty easy. But if your body's not adapted to it, like a hard workout, it's like, what the fuck is this? Mm-hmm. And all my energy goes into the show. Mm-hmm. So when I'm up there, I'm hitting it, hitting yeah. it, hitting it. You know, I'm yeah. not sluggish. I'm not standing still. Right. I'm, I'm, yeah. I'm, I'm no, up there, man. I'm performing. So it's like, yeah. But then when I get off, I'm like, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> the thing is, if you did get healthy and you did get in shape, it would really genuinely help your ability to maintain that. Because, I mean, just imagine if you, well, you said you lost 70 pounds. Imagine if you had to do your show right now with a 70-pound vest on. Oh, God. Yeah, I know. Yeah, it sucks. And that's the reality of weight. Yeah. That's the reality of gravity. My knees, my yeah, hips. Yeah, everything. Just everything. Breathing harder. Yeah. You know. I do workouts with a 25-pound vest on. And just a 25-pound vest on. Just 25 pounds. It's not even that much. Like, if you pick up 25 pounds, it doesn't seem like much. That 25-pound vest makes a giant difference. Do everything with that vest on. And everything's way harder. Farmers carries, chin ups, push ups, dips, body weight squats, everything's harder with just twenty five pounds. People gain and lose twenty five pounds like it's nothing. But when you're walking around with that twenty five pounds on, that is just you're carrying that, man. That's a lot of burden on your resources, your biological resources, your Not tissue, everything. your bones, your joints, your hip, your back, your you just fatigue. You know, and then maybe the writing that you do, maybe your writing would be sharper. Maybe you'd have more that you were thinking about if you had more pumping through your body, you know. Oh, believe me, it's it's uh, I agree 100 percent with everything that you're saying. And we're it's, not get you even a, it's not even a uh, an issue of, of not knowing or not understanding or not seeing the bigger picture. Got to get you I, on I, Adderall fully. and Ozempic. Nice. Let's go. I just Let's got on go. Ozempic. Did you? Oh, yeah. Want to hear, some, hear something funny? They uh I got approached by Ozempic early on before they had the the fucking song. Oh boy! And, uh, <laughs> What's the song? They, I didn't they, even know they have a song. Oh 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 Ozempic! Oh, you know, it's, it's based on that Christ. old song. Yeah. Oh, it's so, magic. That yeah. song. Yeah. And so they uh, they approached me and Criminals. they wanted me to be their their spokesperson for Ozempic. Yeah. And uh, you know we took a meeting and everything and I mean you know I appreciated the fact that they actually approached a diabetic <laughs> to to be the spokesperson. Uh, just, diabetes yeah, medicine. Yeah, I'm gonna yeah. be the new Wilford Brimley. You know, <laughs> so uh, it just it the deal didn't work out. It was, but you're they, still doing it. 
So you're on it. How well, long Mac, you on I, it? What's funny is I wasn't on it when I took the meeting. And, mm. and, you know, it wasn't, like I said, when 2020 hit and I got, went to go see my doctor, he goes, I'm going to put you on this thing called Ozempic. I'm like, are you freaking kidding me? I'm like, I could have been getting that shit for free. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, yeah, so it's once I, I, you know, give myself the shot once a week. Some people use it to lose weight, you yeah. know, like, a, like uh, you know, people that aren't necessarily r- really big yes. will, will use that to, you know, suppress their appetite and stuff like that. Because it, right. it will make you uh, a little nauseous. Like in the mornings, I wake up and I'm like, "Oh, I gotta drink like a shake or something." So you only do it once a week. When once people week. are on it for weight loss, do they do it like every day? Like how I, often do they I do it? I don't know what the cycle is for using Ozempic for for weight loss, but I just know that when I first did it, I dropped 15 pounds like in God, like a week. Wow. Yeah. So your body will react to it immediately, but then of course you plateau and stuff like that. They say that it limits your appetite. That's what it, that's one of the big effects of it. Yeah, because you, you found? yeah, I was I was waking up queasy, and so you know you feel a little nauseous. You're not really trying to. It's crazy because it's everywhere. Like you see all these ads uh-huh. for it, and even like Tony Hinchcliffe brought this up. Like CNN had a thing on it that it seems like a story, but it kind of is an ad. You know, it's kind of an ad for Ozempic, but mm-hmm. it seems like it's a story about Hollywood celebrities. But really, you're just jazzing up the fact that everybody's taking Ozempic. Like it, it seems like. There's something more going on there other than just just you, Ozempic. Yeah, yeah. Like you, you probably got paid to do that that story. Mm. You know, because I'm telling you, I, I take it every week, and that initial first hit of the weight loss, yeah, it's true. Yeah, but it it doesn't. It at least it didn't continue for me. How often do people take Ozempic when they're trying to lose weight, Jamie? Yeah, it's still once a week thing. It's, it's still a, once a week. But it's like also you tapering off, I think, or yeah, mm. you, or maybe it gets high. I, mean, I think maybe it's actually ramping up the dosage. You know. Like you start, well, we'll say like 0.25 units up to like one. Full. But there's supposed to be a time where you're supposed to get off of it, right? Uh, as far as like for if you're trying to cut weight yeah. with it, I, I think the I, cut weight I people. I don't know. It's supposed to, they're pushing that. It is that. like a cycle. Like you're supposed yeah. to do like you're ten, 12 weeks on, probably 12 weeks off. These motherfuckers like are pushing that, right. though. But it, it does help regulate my sugar. Yeah. So I, I do, I between the monitor, because my monitor is always checking my sugar. Mm-hmm. So, for example, right now, my, I don't have the monitor with me. In the car because uh, the honey, the mm-hmm. honey, honey spikes my sugar like like nothing sure. else. Sure, but because my voice is a little off right now, that's why I'm taking the the honey. Yeah. Um. So do you watch like sugar, like bread? You start you cut that stuff out after, of your diet. After a while, you start knowing exactly what does what. So mm-hmm. you already know like ah, oh, I can eat that. I shouldn't. And then you know you 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 see things and you're like, all right, this is gonna set it off. So <laughs> I also have my I, I take a uh, insulin. Oh uh, okay. So I'm trying to I play that game. How long have you been doing that? Oh, God, over five years for sure. So is this type 2 diabetes? Yes. So that's the type that you can reverse mm-hmm. with uh, diet and exercise? Yes. Yeah. And again, it's not for lack of knowing. I already know. I get it, and bro. That's, and that's what sucks. It's like I feel like everything that I've ever attempted to do for my career, I've been able to do. But I, for myself, my personal self— losing weight's been the hardest thing mm. the hardest fucking thing in the world 